Okay, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at ADR recording and how to use Revoice Pro software to get ADR recordings in time with your original video track. So, let's get started. Um, first of all, let's play back this scene that we're going to be uh, looking at today. As you will hear, um, there were various problems with the original audio, so let's take a listen. The resident here? Yeah. You're alone? Anybody with you? No, what's up? Just need to check a few things out. What, what for? Do you live on your own? Yeah. What's your name? Claudia Wilson. Okay, yep, so various issues with the sound there and the decision was made to uh, replace everything in that scene and um, and record some ADR. So, um, let's just have a listen. You're resident here? You alone? Anybody with you? Okay, so just those first few lines there, um, we can see there is still a few issues with the timing. If I just solo the original and the guide track, then we can hear how out of time they are. You alone? Anybody, Anybody with, with you? you? Okay, so um, we couldn't really improve on these um, on the day of recording, but um, this is the closest we got, and hopefully we can fix that with Revoice Pro software. So I've already got Revoice Pro running in the background. If you don't have Revoice Pro running already, you need to launch that. Um, so Revoice Pro. Okay, and then just switch back to Pro Tools and we'll just leave that running in the background. Um, next thing you need to do is from the Audio Suite menu, select Other and then Revoice Pro APT, which brings up this dialog window here. And then we need to create a blank track here, or a new track, which is going to take our processed audio. So I'll just create one new mono audio track, make that a bit bigger, and I'm going to rename that Revoice Output. So the first line we're going to look at is this one. You alone? And if we select the original track first, so this is the original, uh, which I believe was straight from the camera um, audio track. Um, you can see that I've already divided this into sections. Now, when you're working with Revoice Pro, it is better to um, work with small sections. Um, and so I've already made edits to the audio here, so that I've got an audio clip, um, which is just that um, line. I'm also going to make a selection on my ADR recording track, which is of a similar size. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, and if I hit Command E, then that divides that section up. So I've just got this bit of audio selected now. But first of all, we have to capture the guide track. As you can see here, capture guide is already ticked, so it's ready to do that. And um, if you haven't already, if you tick auto switch, that will help you as well, as you'll see in a minute. So with your guide track selected, hit capture. And it's automatically switched to the next capture dub. So that's what we need to do next. Select that. So that is either your overdub, as um, Revoice Pro calls it, or the ADR recording in our situation. So hit capture again. And finally, all you need to do now is make a selection on your empty track. It doesn't have to be the correct size. It's just telling Revoice where to put it. And then hit spot. That processes the audio. If we zoom in, we can see already this is your original audio, and that is the processed audio. So it stretched it and moved it further into time. And let's have a listen to how it sounds. Let's solo that and uh, mute the other two tracks. You alone? So. You alone? 
the timing of that looks much better to me. And if we pl play it with the original, Hold on. you can hear that they're both much better aligned in time. Um, there are other things, other various things we can do, such as use EQ to make it sound better. Hold on. And that's obviously going to make it Hold on. sit in the track better. Um, and also reverb, but we'll be looking at that in uh, in a separate tutorial. 